climate change today is the greatest threat uh, for humanity. It's a threat on a planetary scale and what we do today in the next five to ten years is going to determine humanity's future in the next hundreds and thousands of years. There's no planet B. There are two reasons. First one is that these are the planets that we're finding. They're way too far. Even if we could travel super fast to the nearest stars in our celestial neighborhoods, it would still take hundreds of thousands of years to get to these planets. But even if we could get to these planets, say we had the technology somehow in the coming centuries, the issue is not actually getting there. The issue is what do we do when we've got to these planets? Because these worlds, they'll look nothing like Earth. We are on this planet, this is our home. It's a complex system of which life is a major feature Life is what keeps us alive, literally. The biosphere is our life support system. The air that we breathe and the food that we eat and the water that we drink, that's all these billions of microorganisms that form our ecosystems. In physics, we're offering a new course on physics of climate change for our undergraduates. This course is going to be multidisciplinary and it's going to be engaging the students on a number of levels it's going to be asking the students to um, put themselves out there to practice their communication skills, their writing skills, to sharpen their critical thinking skills, uh, because that's what the world needs right now. We need to have young people who are building their climate literacy, who are becoming experts, who are becoming very knowledgeable in climate change science and at the same time who can speak up about it, who can tell the truth. That's what the world needs today and that's who we're going to be training in the physics department this year. The question is not whether we can make a change, the question is what change are we going to make? What change are you going to make? We need to act now, we need to do things. We need to take that agency that we have and do something with it. We have this duty, not just to future generations, to our children or grandchildren, we have this duty to ourselves and to everyone around us. So the question is, what will you do?